Okay, I call this 12s all around. And as you can see, I have 12 cards on the table here and a good selection of card values, suits, and colors. Okay, so let's go ahead and just gather these. Now, since uh, the two of the two of us, that is, <laughs> two of us saw the cards, why don't we go ahead and just give it a mix? In fact, uh, let's do a left-right sh shuffle with a random stacking decided by you, right on left, okay? And then we'll follow that up with a Klondike shuffle, a very powerful shuffle for mixing cards, okay? And let me just show you how well mixed the cards are here, okay? So you can see how they mix very differently than just a moment ago. Why don't we do that one more time? Uh, I see a Charlier shuffle here, uh, followed by a left-right, uh, would you like left on right or right on left? Left on right this time. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll follow that with a Klondike. Great. Okay, and then from there, I think all we'll do is we'll just deal out the cards into uh, six piles. That's all we will do. Now, you may remember that I called this routine Twelves All Around. Okay, now it is true that we've... Um, started with 12 cards so that's you know important kind of interesting but why would i call it 12s all around well it's for the simple reason that every time i perform this effect these pairs always add up to 12. it's really quite remarkable so let's see how it worked out here let's see uh 10 and 2 that's 12. what about down here uh, nine and three is 12. Jack, let's see, Jack counts as 11, plus one is 12. What about over here? So, of course, six and six, that's 12. Uh, five plus seven is 12. And four plus eight is 12. Whoa, how in the world did we do that working together? Okay. Now, a note to you as the performer, uh, you can have these cards add up to whatever you want. Okay, so you could have them all add up to 13 or 15 or you know, any number that you can kind of reach <laughs> with card values between ace and 13. Okay, and so I just chose 12 because there happened to be 12 cards that we're working with. As a technical note, it is important to have a multiple of four cards. Uh, otherwise, the mixing that I've shown you won't work. So you need to have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 cards, any multiple of 4. But within each pair, you can have whatever special pairings you would like. Okay, So you could have the pairings match up in card suit, if you like. Maybe club, maybe these are spades, those are hearts. Or you can have them add up to certain values, as I have here. I have them all adding up to 12. It really is your choice, okay? So the key is you need a multiple of four cards total. And then from there, what you do is you build your pairs. So this, this will show you how I created it. I built uh, these pairs ahead of time, okay? And then I just randomly stacked these. That's all I did. So you didn't see any of this. It was done before. Uh, this is called an AMP, Adjacent Mirrored Pairs. So we have pairs of cards that are related. If you perform a left-right shuffle like this, it will convert it into what's called a two-cycle. A well, cycle length six here. So it's a two-cycle. Okay, what does that mean? Well, that means that there's a pattern that repeats twice. Now, the pattern is going to be pretty subtle here, but the idea is that the related cards, so jack plus an ace is a 12, 9 plus a 3 is a 12, 5 plus a 7 is a 12, and so forth. So the cards in each cycle are related to the corresponding card in the other cycle in terms of position. Okay, so this is a cyclic construction. If you remember what I did was, I performed a Charlie A shuffle, that won't hurt a cyclic packet, and I can add a link in the description below to the Charlie A shuffle. And then, what's new today is if you perform a left-right shuffle like this with random stacking, and then 
follow it up with a Klondike. That's important. So you do a left, right, and then immediately follow it up with a Klondike shuffle. Those two shuffles together will leave a two cycle alone, or in other words, it won't destroy a two cycle structure. Now the cards will be moved around as you can see here, but the fact is it's still quote a two cycle where we have uh, 10 and two, add to 12, jack and ace and so forth, okay? So we still have uh, what we wanted to be the case and here we have seven and five adding to 12. So even though the cards will be moving around a bit depending on choices made with the left on right or right on left, uh, this is still cyclic, okay? And then after, and then we can Charlie A shuffle this again if you would like. And then how did I finish? I dealt out into one, two, three, four, five, six piles. Well, think about it. If I deal this out into pile one and then two, three, four, five, six, and then start over at pile one, guess what? The 10 and the two will be matched together. Okay, so you can kind of see that in action. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you just go around again and look what's happening. What? The companion card that adds to 12. 9 and 3 add to 12. 4 and 8 add to 12. 6 and 6, 12. Ace and 11 or Jack is 12. 2 and a 10 is 12. Okay, so you can use what I've shown you here in so many different ways. And there's countless variations that you can come up with if you would like in terms of what these special pairings are. And just be sure that you have a multiple of four cards for the total packet size. If you organize it into a two cycle structure, as I just showed you, you can Charlie shuffle it and then LR shuffle it followed by a Klondike. Those have to be paired together. And then you can repeat that. Charlie and then an LR followed by a Klondike and then eventually just deal out into six piles in an orderly way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you will be matching up the pairs yet again. Okay. And so you could satisfy any written prediction that you may have off to the side. So anyway, uh, kind of a fun effect with a couple of new elements that I don't believe I've shown on my channel yet. So have fun with that and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.